Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful bracelet and the things that I'm going to use are three different brown colour beads these are almost like a see-through but still, still has like a brownish undertone these ones are more like cream colour these are just brown ones and then I have the golden beads that will be in the middle also, I'm going to use these fold over crimp ends. I have lobster claw, I have one 5mm jump ring and one 4mm jump ring. Also, I'm going to use a mat, two pliers, scissors and fishing line. And the size for the fishing line is here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is going to take fishing line and let me let me just cut it and then i will tell you how much i took i have 60 about one meter and 20 centimeters i'm just going to take the fishing line and i'm going to fold it over and then i take this end And that's where I'm going to put the fold over cream pen. And the way I do it, I kind of like wrap it around. You don't necessarily have to do it like I do. But it's basically wrapped around on this side. And now I'm going to take pliers and fold down one side of the cream pen. But I'm not doing it to the very end, I'm doing like halfway. And then I do the other side halfway and it creates a triangle. And now I'm going to just start pushing it down to the very end. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because I don't want the fishing lines to come out from one of the corners. I have just had this happen too many times and then I wasted these ends and it's just a waste of money really. And this is how it looks now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one bead and I will put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead like an X. And just push it down to the very end. And now I'm going to take four of the same color beads, but put two on one end of the fishing line and put two on the other end of the fishing line. And just let them go down. And now I'm going to take one golden bead, because that is going to be all middle bead, and put that, put both ends of the fishing line through the golden bead. And just drag it down and this is how it looks right now and now we take these two ends and we fold it over and this is like a little hard and now we take one end of the fishing line and put it through two beads on one side And then we take the other end of the fishing line and put it through two beads on the other side. And just pull it. And now when we tie it here, this is how it looks. And now we're going to take one side, I will take this side, and put one bead on that end of the fishing line. like so and now the end that we have the extra bead on we're gonna pull through the last bead on the other side and just pull the end like so So 
so if you have watched any of my previous videos i will show you in this bracelet you can see that it would come out on the top whereas with the zigzag bracelet it comes out on the side and that's what, how it creates the zigzag so now what we're going to do we're going to take the next color which i'm going to take this darker brown and do the same thing we're just going to pull each end of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead like an X just drag it down then we take four beads of the same color and put two on each end of the fishing line like so and then we take one of the golden beads and put both ends of the fishing line through the bead. And this is how it looks now. And now we take these two ends and fold them over. And now we take one end of the fishing line Put it through two beads on one side pull there and then we take the other side of the fishing line and put it through to the other side two beads and pull it and now because we took we put that extra bead on that side of the fishing line. Now we're going to put it on this side of the fishing line. So we take the same color bead, pull on one end on the right side, like so. And then we take the right side fishing line and put it through the last bead on the left side. And just pull it down and now we're going to take the third color we're going to pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead pull it down Then we take four beads of the same color, but only put two on each end of the fishing line. Like so. And then we take one golden bead and put both ends of the fishing line through. We drag it down. And this is how it looks now. We fold these two ends over. Put one end of the fishing line through one side two beads and then we take the other end and pull through the right side two beads and pull it so on this side we put the right side through the left side bead on the brown daisy. The extra bead on this daisy is going to go on the left side fishing line. Like so. And now the left side fishing line is going to go through the right side last bead. And just pull it. And this is how the zigzag creates. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to take the first bead that we use, the colour, each end of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead. Then 
Then we take four beads of the same colour and pull two beads on one end of the fishing line and two beads on the other side of the fishing line. Then we take the golden bead and pull both ends of the fishing line through the bead. Drag it down. We fold these two ends over. Then we take one end of the fishing line, pull through the left side two beads. And then we take the other end of the fishing line, pull through the right side two beads. And now we're going to take right side fishing line, put extra bead on it. And then we're going to take the same end and put it through the left side last bead. And just pull it down. And if you want to make sure they, that the golden bead sticks out on the same side, just sometimes you might need to push the sides on the back like so and then when you pull the fishing line it creates a nice daisy and this is how you do the zigzag bracelet i'm gonna finish the rest of the bracelet and then i will show you how i put the lobster claw on and everything.
Okay, so I think I have finished my bracelet now. I have beaded, including the end, I have beaded 14 and a half centimeters. Let me put it on my wrist and see if it's gonna fit. Yeah, that, that, that should be fine. So this is how it looks now. And now we just need to... Okay, so I have finished beading the bracelet. The size with the crimp and for my bracelet is 14 and a half centimeters. And I usually make all my bracelets 16 centimeters. So what we're gonna do now is, let me just clean up quickly, is put the ends on. So we take fold over crimp end and we just put the fishing line in the crimp end like so. I just put each end of the fishing line into like a corner. And then we take the pliers and we're going to do it as we did in the beginning. We're just going to fold it down like halfway. And I usually leave a little gap here because there is this like a triangle there that is going to fall down. Like you can see here. And now bit by bit you can just start folding the ends down to the very bottom. and just squeeze it very tight. Like so. And now we can cut the ends off. And I'm gonna take five millimeter jump ring. Put the bracelet on. Close the jump ring. Now I'm going to take the 4mm jump ring, open it up, put the lobster claw on, and put the bracelet on, and close the jump ring. And that's it, that's our zigzag bracelet done. Just put it on my wrist and that's the bracelet done. Here's the closures. I also have this pink one. As I said, you can mix and match any colors you want. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.